Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make pure aloe vera gel without adding any water or other ingredients to it. I'm also going to talk about its properties and show you how to store it for months so that it doesn't lose its properties. If you love DIYs and want to grow your hair longer, stronger and thicker, make sure to subscribe with notifications to not miss out any of my upcoming videos. After collecting my aloe vera leaves, I let the yellow latex flow out of the ends and wash them with tap water. Then I cut the extremities of each leaf as you can see here. Aloe vera was used for centuries for its health and beauty benefits in Egypt india mexico japan and china in ancient egypt formerly known as kemet aloe vera was called the plant of immortality here i remove the spines on the sides of each leaf with a sharp knife Then I put all the aloe vera leaf pieces in water and cut them into smaller pieces. I make sure to wash them properly by agitating them in the water to remove the rest of the yellow latex. Even if you allow the yellow liquid fully drip from the aloe vera leaves when you collect them, there is still a little bit of liquid left inside the leaves so I advise you to thoroughly wash them once you cut them into smaller pieces. The yellow liquid is also called yellow latex and it's mainly composed of aloin and barbaloin. In fact, we call it aloin directly to make it simple. This liquid can provoke allergic reactions, that's why you have to get rid of it. I wanted to specify that even if you make sure to get rid of the yellow latex, you can still get an allergic reaction to aloe vera. Therefore, I advise you to do a patch test on the crook of your elbow 48 hours before use. Then I remove the skin on one side of each leaf and expose the gel. Aloe vera is composed of 75 active constituents. Among them, you can find vitamins, minerals, enzymes, sugars, fatty acids, antioxidants, lignin, saponins, antiseptic agents such as salicylic acid and amino acids. Aloe vera gel has healing, anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, anti-aging, anti-acne, hydrating and protecting properties on the skin. In addition to that, it softens and protects the hair. In the Caribbean, we use it traditionally as a natural shampoo or hair mask. You can use it as a pre treatment, natural detangler, leave-in or natural gel to lay down your hair and define your curls. Now I remove the gel from all the aloe vera leaf pieces with a spoon and put it into a bowl. You can use a knife to remove the gel but I found that the use of a spoon is more practical. Here is all the gel I collected from the leaves. If you don't have any blender or mixer, you can mix or squeeze it with your hands for several minutes to extract the gel. Then put it into a strainer or a filter bag to separate the gel from the aloe vera pieces. 
However, today I'm going to use a blender to make things easier and extract as much gel as possible. So now I toss all the aloe vera gel in my blender and I blend until I get a smooth gel. Then I pour the gel into my filter bag, squeeze it gently and extract as much gel as possible. Here are the residues left in the filter bag. To finish, I put my gel in my applicator bottles. I also put some of the gel in an ice cube tray so that I can have little samples of aloe vera gel to use on my face or on my scalp. If you want to store the gel without it losing its properties, you can put it in your freezer until you're ready to use it. A few months later, that's how my applicator bottles with frozen aloe vera gel look like. Let the gel melt at room temperature. If you want to speed up the defrosting process, you can put your applicator bottles in a bowl with warm water. Here my gel is partially melted, I'm showing you how the texture looks like. Have you already tried aloe vera gel on your skin and hair? I would love to know how often you use it and what your results are so far. Now let me introduce you to the sponsor of this video which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of quality classes from experts in their field. So if you want to improve your knowledge in a specific area, learn new skills and discover a new passion, you can definitely check out Skillshare. I've been using them for writing and personal development classes so far. For example, I've attended a course about cultivating self-care through writing with Yasmin Cheyenne. This course has really helped me to reflect on my life and how I can implement self-care and more joy into my day-to-day -day life. I've also found some great classes on photography, web development and marketing which are new skills that I need to acquire. So, because they're sponsoring this video today, the first 1000 to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. 
After that, it's less than $10 a month if you go for the annual subscription. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I see you in the next one.